how to use assets in Affinity Photo. All your assets are displayed in the assets panel. The assets can be layers, text, images, etc. To display the assets panel, go to view menu, studio and assets. Go to the panel and drag one of those designs from the panel to the document. Look at the layers panel. You can see all the assets are just layers. Delete the layers and start afresh. Go to the tools panel, select the ellipse tool, create a circle. I'm going to add that circle to the assets library. Go to the swatches panel, apply a gradient to that shape. Go to the tools panel, select the move tool and drag that shape into the assets. Add it to the current subcategory. You can add it to where you want in the subcategory. At the top of the panel, you can see Andrew 1, that's the category, and Assets is the subcategory. You can add it to the panel by another approach. I'm just going to quickly modify it using a deform. Filter menu, distort, deform, add a few pins, and then apply. Go to the top of your panel and you can see the categories. I've got Andrew 1, Andrew 2, etc. You will have different names there. Within the category, you have subcategories. Andrew 1 has assets, assets 2, assets 3 as subcategories. Yours will be different. As you change the category, you will see different lists of subcategories. One for images, one for text, one for flowers, one for cats, etc. You can create multiple categories. You can create multiple subcategories within those categories. Select a subcategory. There may only be one. Go to the right side menu of the subcategory. Click that button to display a menu. Select Add From Selection. The shape is now added to the bottom of your subcategory. You cannot reposition the asset. Delete the shape from the document. It is useful to give a name to the asset. Makes it easier to find. Go to any asset, right click and then you'll see a menu. Rename and delete. Rename the asset, click OK. Go to another asset and then rename that as well. Click OK. Giving the asset a name means you can use the search or find feature at the bottom of the assets panel. Type something like flower or F-L-O-W into the bottom field and only those assets will be shown. If you have thousands of assets, the find search box really makes it so much easier to find assets. If you want something more descriptive than assets as your subcategory, you can rename the subcategory. Go to the right side menu and then go to rename command. Enter a new name. I'm going to just call it assets XYZ, even more descriptive than before. Click OK. You can also use the same menu to delete the subcategory. Just select delete. You can also move subcategories up and down. The subcategories are part of a category and you can do much the same with categories as well. Go to the top of the panel and on the right side there is another menu. Click the right side menu. Select create a new category. It will name the category assets. Be more useful if it named it category 4, category 5 etc. Again, go to the right side menu and there's an option to rename that category. So change it from assets to Andrew 4 or whatever you want to call your new category. Enter a new name, click OK. Go to the categories drop down and you will see you've got that additional category. I have four categories, you may have 10 or maybe three, etc. With the same right side menu, you can delete a category. You can also create a new subcategory. Once you've created your subcategory, you can always use the menu for the subcategory to rename it. You can add multiple subcategories. I don't know if there's a limit. This is all well and good, but perhaps you want to actually export all these assets, save them externally. There is an option for that via the top level category menu. There's an import and export assets. The assets are not, sadly, exported as standard PNG or JPEG files. The import option does mean you can bring your assets back into Affinity Photo. The top level menu also gives you an option to show the items as a list. Generally, I keep it as the default. 
thumbnails. So you have all these assets, what can you do with them? Well, they're useful for future projects, for consistent designs across files, for creating weird and wonderful backgrounds, for storing type designs, for backing up your designs, as adornments, as layers, etc. If you apply effects and modify the asset, the asset is not changed in the assets panel. To save the new work, simply drag that design into the assets panel. You will now have two assets. The panel is a great feature of Affinity Photo. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo on a whole range of different subjects such as equations, procedural texture and much, much more. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two, a dislike or like. Thank you very much.